What's up guys? Austin here with Tactical Approach Outdoors. Today we're going to talk about some of the basics and fundamentals of prepping a tree whether you're hunting out of a tree stand or a saddle. So stay tuned. Alright, so let me show you what I got going on here with this pin oak. Alright, so it's that one right there, bigger one. I'm set up a ways up in that tree, up to the top there. During our spring scouting, this tree was covered in scrapes. This whole right away here had scrapes. And this particular tree was one of the main oak trees on this whole area here. The deer are bedding in that thick stuff and coming right out of that thick stuff right into this tree. And then we've got water access. So I'll show you guys kind of what I'm gonna do. I got the tree climbed and set the height I like. I'm not leaving anything today. All I'm doing is getting it prepped. So when I wanna come hunt, all I gotta do is come in and set up make it real simple so I cut my way up the tree and I'm gonna take my pole saw up with me this next go round and trim my shooting lanes it doesn't like it's look like it's gonna to be too bad but it's gonna take a little bit of work so keep up with me Alright, so first let's just admire this view real quick. I mean, that's going to be a lot of fun come hunting season. So, sit here, canoe in, walk in the, the mud, stay out of the grass and the leaves, not making any noise getting in. As long as I'm not banging around in my canoe and with, my, with metal on metal, then I'm going to be fine. So, alright, so let me show you guys what I got here shooting lane wise. So, Strong side to my left. We've got a few limbs to cut there on the left side, but overall, it's not bad. Real open there. That's the side I gotta worry about for concealment. And then this side, we can shoot straight down right there. That won't be too difficult to, to trim up. Just a few lanes there. And then this direction is gonna take a little bit more going to that'll be my shooting lane right there but I've got a ton of cover for them coming in that direction so once they get there they're toast at 20 yards can't really show you on the other side what it looks like not really anything to shoot there this limb right right here is in my way so I can't really do anything with that but once they get to there and to there, they're done. Then obviously, right here, I got plenty of options to choose from. So, that's kind of what my shooting lanes look like right now. I got my pull saw tied to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up and start trimming away. Got a few limbs to cut, so let's get to work.
20 minutes later. So let me show you guys what I did here. Got it trimmed. A little bit of a pain, but not horrible. It's done. So you got shootling right there. Another one right there. So I gave myself two spots right there to shoot around down, straight down from this tree. Got that lane trimmed up, shootable. It's a great lane right there. And this one right here, plenty of cover. All gone. Lots of space to shoot. So I'm pretty pumped. This tree's gonna be awesome. So overall it's really self-explanatory. There's not much to it. There's just the basics that I always carry saws with me. I always carry, you know, everything I need. And if you're actually leaving a, a tree stand or you're leaving steps obviously you know if you're hunting public land i'd suggest locking them but if you're not then you know go ahead and and leave them in your trees so they're ready for you next time you come back i hunt a whole bunch of different trees so i bounce around quite a bit and can't leave stuff in every tree so this tree is officially trimmed and set i knew this one was going to take a second and obviously it has but overall the work is going to be worth it because there's a good chance there's a big deer in here and i'm excited to see what kind of movement i get so thanks for watching i hope that helped give you some ideas about how to go about prepping your tree and some things to th think about with your shooting lanes and concealment and some things to bring with you in the tree so thanks for watching i'll see you on the next video